I apologize in advance for any, uh, any, any subsequent technical difficulties that happen. But in the meantime, we have some pretty sweet music to listen to, so it could be worse. Hello, everybody. Happy Tuesday. It's Thousand Year Door Clock. And we're gonna do this. We're gonna do Thousand Year Door. The dinosaurs? The dinosaur dance? I don't know how these things work. I'm gonna go ahead and dive into this game before my technical difficulties decide to rear their their ugly heads. Oh! Oh shoot! No! Stop it! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! So once they start saying that, there's not much time to do... Ah! Okay. Ahem. <clears throat> I mean... They won't show up in here, fortunately, so I can talk to the camera. Hi, everybody! It's Thousand Year Door Clock, and we're playing Thousand Year Door because it's Tuesday. I don't know, folks. I don't know what my brain is doing. <laughs> but we have Vivian. I love seeing, like, she gets really tall. It's awesome. I'm pretty sure the boos were gonna grab me and kick me out, even if I wasn't in the center of the room. I'm pretty sure. Yes, anyway, I don't remember what I was saying because I got distracted by the fact that Vivian is my party and she's smiling. It is really nice to see Vivian smile. Last time was interesting. We fought Rumpelstiltskin who's not Rumpelstiltskin and I have been informed that he's actually based on Rumpelstiltskin. Um, so, so I assume, I guess, the original Rumpelstiltskin, um, must have something to do with... I don't know, actually. Because a bedsheet ghost is very much something... I wonder what the origin of bedsheet ghosts are. Um, because that's, like, to me that feels like that's a big part of, like, American culture, is that we have bedsheet ghosts. Um... Rumpel Silskin is a jerk. That is that is true. That is that is something we know. Burial shrouds. Like burial shrouds. I can understand that, but my question is: when you are a child, cutting holes in a big bed sheet over your face to be a ghost, that seems quite a step removed from burial shrouds. So, how did that happen? Where did the bedsheet part of it come from? Um, like, was that something that was popularized in, uh, like, a particular movie at some point? And it just became standard that that's what we do as children? Because there's a big, 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 big disconnect between the existence of burial shrouds for dead people and children playing dress up as ghosts and and putting a putting a bedsheet on so that's the thing is like, I want to know what where, where where did that come from like was it was it caused by the cartoons though and if so how did they think of it you know because Ghosts looking like a sheet covering a person. That's a there's there's that's a very very specific image that I feel like it must have originated in something in particular, and then it kind of worked its way down to become more of a generic thing. Um, but I don't know. These are things that I wonder about. So Rumpelstiltskin, the original Rumpelstiltskin, is not a ghost. He's a little. My guess is that Rumpelstiltskin is actually probably some sort of a horrible anti-Semitic character because um, there's a lot of that in folklore. Um, but he's a he's a he's a little little gnomish fellow um, who lives lives under a mountain or something like that, kind of like the dwarves in Lord of the Rings. Um, and so 
to to combine Rumpelstiltskin, who I don't know of any original Rumpelstiltskin folklore that has anything to do with ghosts. I don't think he's dead or undead. Well, the guy that we fought up at the top of this place, ha he, he feels like he's a ghost. He looks like a ghost. He looks like a bedsheet ghost. Um, which is why I started talking about it. And, and, and the fact that you have to guess his name is very Rumpelstiltskin. Um, and so I'm, I'm just wondering about combining the Rumpelstiltskin myth with, like, ghost folklore. Like, how are we, like, where are we getting these pieces from? Because he looks specifically like, he, he looks specifically like a person wearing a bedsheet. <laughs> you know? And that's not... I mean, it makes perfect sense in a silly children's play kind of story like Paper Mario to have a ghost be played by, essentially played by, a person who is wearing a bedsheet because that is... But because bedsheet ghosts are what children think of... Oh my gosh, look at how tall she is. Um, when when children think of um, think of ghosts to make them not scary, yeah, bedsheet ghosts are what we're used to. So it makes sense to have there be a bedsheet ghost involved in the ghost segment of the story, given the circumstances and the way the, the kind of storytelling and stuff here. But I, the Rumpelstiltskin side of it is surprising to me. I feel like we're gonna have to do something here. Because the reason why I came back here is because I'm thinking, this guy... We want to know what his real name is. And... I wonder if there's a clue in his home. Like, maybe he stuck it... Maybe he's got a Tupperware with his name on it in the fridge. <laughs> when he goes to work on Monday. <laughs> Look, I think I'm funny, okay. It's alright, nobody else is obligated to. Um... They were really proud of this 3D modeled TV. I'm not, I'm not picking up on any hints though. I thought there would be hints. I'm in the chair. Vivian is also in the chair. We're watching TV now. Wonder what they would watch. Look at how tall she is, tall lady. She's so adorable. Okay, well, it doesn't seem like there's... Well, I'm going to roll around here because this is a move that I got recently. And maybe there's something I can do rolling around here. <laughs> I'm not getting anywhere. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. That doesn't seem to have done anything. Alright. Property damage! Property damage a clock. Doesn't seem to be doing anything either. Hold on. Also doesn't do anything. I can jump in the tub. I don't seem to be able to do anything in the tub. <laughs> I don't know why I am the way I am, okay, folks? I just am. So you can see the creepy moon out there, but I can't do anything to access the creepy moon. I'm guessing this is not where I'm supposed to be or what I'm supposed to do because there is nothing that seems to be happening up here. Hi, Nick. Good evening. All right, well, that that didn't seem to do anything. Alas. No, there's no skull kid. There's no indication that it's actually the creepy... Oh my god, did you see how tall she was? Vivian, honey. You are super magical. Look at how magical you are. Let's see if we can do this again. Oh, okay. Sorry. I'm just really amused by the... 
quirks. Potentially slightly buggy quirks. I feel like there's, like, it seems like there ought to be something under the stairs here, but there's not. Okay, so. No, but these guys totally come for you. See, they start, uh, they start coming for you. And then, there's this one section here that looks like you ought to be able to go into it, but you can't. And this bothers me. Wait, 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 does Vivian roll up into it? Amazing. Vivian, you're a delight and adorable. I'm not really sure what to do here. Cause like we've got this, this, this looks just like Majora's at mask right there. I mean, unless I can like smash this, which I can't. Oh wait, did I just fall down? Oh, I fell down that pit. That's right. I forgot about this pit. <laughs> Tall girl. I just feel like there's gotta be a secret here. And I don't know what that secret is. It's locked from the inside. Oh, you know what? I should probably go through and fight those beetles. I don't remember if I can fight the beetles with a... Uh, I don't remember what goes into fighting the beetles. Yes, guys, I, wait. What is this? This looks like... Oh, that's part of that up there. Okay. It just looks... It looks kind of like a ramp. Like I should have a totally sweet skateboard. Alright. We're gonna go back down here. Because I never did finish this. Hello, buddy. Oh, no. Oh. I don't know what that was, but was that helpful or? Anything that I can fight here with. I might have to use. I mean, I can't use that, but. Okay, that doesn't work. Oh, my controller stopped working there. <laughs> oh good, my controller has malfunctioned. I might just run. The game said no. Shockingly, I am still connected. 
Uh, I mean, the controller is not working, but also neither is the game. I also don't think I can fight the Beatles with Vivian in my party. All right, if I can't fight the Beatles, well, maybe I can turn on, hold on, hold on. Badges, maybe I have a badge. I can turn this off for now, because I only have one friend in the party. Not charge, Quake Hammer. Slightly damages all I tried running away. Unfortunately, that didn't work very well for me. So let's see. Power bounce is not going to work here. Multi bounce is not going to work here. Power smash might work. Quake hammer might work. Ice smash. Tornado jump, no. Hammer throw. Oh, that might be useful. When did I get all of these? I don't remember. Okay, well... We can just learn all of these. Okay, look, I do like regen a lot. I definitely use regen a lot. So I have to use other things. I just really, really like it. I guess quick change does take up a lot. Well, we're gonna see what happens if anything happens here. not gonna do anything. Oh, maybe it will actually. Beep, 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 beep. Oh, never mind. All right. So let us try. We're gonna try this again. All right, hold on. Let's see what we can do. I'll just go flying off into space. All right, well, that's one way of dealing with it. All right. Let's see. Beep, 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 beep. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna try to use... Okay, power smash. Maybe that'll work. Quake hammer. See what happens. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> Set them on fire. Oh, I did it wrong. That's fine. Okay. Bam. All right. I can do this. Beep, 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 beep. I know that's not going to do anything. However, I'm going to hammer time. Quake hammer. 
beep, beep, beep. I got it, okay. She's so excited. All right. Hello, enemies. Beep, beep. I just can't let them get the first hit. You know how it is. Quake hammer. Beep, 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 beep. Okay, you're going to set this one on fire. And then I'm going to jump on that one. No! There were a lot of those guys who were going to throw those. All right. Oh, Quake, Half-Life, Wolfenstein, Doom. I see. I see what you're doing there, friends. The original concept for Quake was a fantasy game where you use a hammer, really? No. Okay, hold on. Oh, there's so many of them. Might use my other circles on these guys. They're just really annoying. Granted, everything here is really annoying. I guess I can do this. Beep, 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 beep. I don't think this will do anything. Yeah. Oh, I missed. Uh, what if you appeal to the audience? Everybody should give her lots of hearts. It's Vivian. That was too early. Okay. Quick hammer. Right, I forgot that you can just jump on those guys. I don't know. I might level up someday. There's a flower point there, I want it. Okay, I can just jump on these guys. I can jump on them, it's fine. Yeah, that's the spirit. And then you're gonna attack this guy. getting there slightly getting there I was gonna say something that was funny but I couldn't think of the word that I wanted so I had to stop rest assured it would have been very funny if I remember remember the word I wanted I will level up eventually all right and then this is Okay, hold on. We're gonna do this. Excuse me? Excuse you! But 
these rocks really look like potatoes. There's a door. And great. Am I going to be able to become mist form? Can I become like Alucard? <sighs> That'd be amazing. Probably not going to happen. But wouldn't it be rad if it did? I can jump on you, buddy. Haha! <laughs> Take damage! Sorry. <laughs> I'm really good at trash talking. Oh, look at how happy. She's just so delighted. I like her a lot. Okay. But this looks like there's a... There's a... Shadow or something there. But I don't know how to do that. Okay, I'm seeing somebody who keeps being um, timed out by mods. So if you, um, if this is your first time watching my channel, uh, just to be super clear, I do not want backseaters. Um, that is not how we do things here. I will fail to do the right thing sometimes if I don't figure it out, but I am here to play the game and experience it for myself, um, not be remote controlled by, uh, by other people to, to learn your experience. I'm sure that you know a lot about this game and you have it memorized and that that is a very impressive amount of knowledge. Um, but let me amble through and get hopelessly lost on my own. Especially because if you tell me what to do, especially if it winds up being something that I don't have to do to progress, I will just not do it out of spite or do the opposite of it. So... Wait, that's a bad guy. I don't... I don't know what else to do here. We have to figure this out. Okay, well, we're gonna save because we got closer to a level. We're gonna go investigate. Yes, if I have questions that I want you to help with, I will put this very fashionable hat on my head. It is the chat hat. It is how I communicate that my questions are not rhetorical. I will give you very specific instructions on exactly what I'm looking for in my hint. Um, and I will ask that you respect that. Hold on, what is this again? I don't remember, it was up here. Right, this. Is there something else here? Yeah, no, the cat was sleeping on my bed, but she ran out right before I closed my door to start streaming. Hold on. I'm sorry. I'm just really delighted by tall Vivian. She's just so adorable. And she's just so happy too, you know? Aren't you delighted by... You, I'm sure you're delighted by tall Vivian. Sophie will join again. Is there a thing behind that lamp? No, that's just part of that piano. I want to play the piano, but I don't want the piano to come to life and try to chomp me. If this were a perfect game, I would be able to do property damage and just smash everything in this room. <laughs> Anyone who doesn't believe me did not watch me play Dark Souls. Okay, so the verdict is they do not leave me alone when I do this, nor do they leave me alone when I do a totally sweet, oh, well, I was trying to do a totally sweet skateboarding thing. Go away! Oh my god, leave me alone! Oh my god, do you see how tall she is? Oh my god. Jerks. I want to break into his house and wreck his stuff. Let's see, okay, well, what do we got going on here? We've got Majora's Mask, but it's green here. Then it's blue there, and then it's bluish there, and then it's red here. Like, I feel like there's gotta be something I can do here. Wait. Wait, 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 hold on. Hold on. Hold on. 
That'll buy me some time, actually. I might be able to crowd control them. They're slightly more stubborn than, uh, than Rockhawks fans. Okay, no. Never mind. Yeah, no. I thought I hit some of them. I can hit some of them, yeah! Well, if my controller worked. Oh, wait, never mind. Oh. <laughs> oh no, I'm gonna get in trouble. <laughs> They're gonna get really mad at me. Oh, this isn't good. Hold on. Bear with me just a second, folks. This calls for... Let's see if we can get my controller working again. Because I put it down so I could go get a boo. I think it was worth the risk. <sighs> Amazing. Oh! Oh, wonderful! Oh, good! Okay, I guess this is probably going to be another unkillable fight. Are they gonna Voltron? It was this King Boo? Okay, this is a regular boss fight. Oh, but I don't get to. Oh, no. You know I am sad. You know I am sad, don't you? I don't get to gossip about it. The audience is pretty dead tonight. Thanks, Woofer. I know my gossiping friend isn't here to gossip for me. I am very sad about this. But I'm gonna hit that on the head. And then I'm gonna set it on fire. I'm pretty sure that's my best idea ever. Atomic boo? That is concerning. Oh my god, it is on fire! Guys? God, how adorable. I'm sorry, I'm distracted by the cuteness of the boo. His little ghost, really I think it's more his ghost belly is on fire. But I'm really not sure about ghost anatomy. Like is the little bit on the back a tail? I don't know. <laughs> I'm glad to know that we've got some terrible boo puns happening here. All right. I'm glad I randomly equipped literally every single move that I've never used in this game. I want to know what Goombella would have said about him. I bet. But I guess we'll never know. Oh, he's more on fire. Oh, I should probably actually be cautious when that happens. He is really funny. He's toasty. He's a toasty boo. <laughs> Marsh Bulo. Yes, you've got it. That is correct. All right.
<laughs> okay. <laughs> Every time he gets toasty, I laugh. I'm sorry, it's really funny, that's all. I wonder if I could jump on him. Boo themed brownies? Oh no! I almost lost my boo due to my hubris. Oh no, you hurt Vivian! That's okay, you hurt yourself. All right, uh, this is probably gonna be a problem. Oh good, my controller stopped working, hold on. Look. Oh, I do have a lot of booze in attendance. The thing is, if you made boo brownies, would you have to somehow include boo berries? I don't know what that is, but I don't think I want it. All right, you're going to try... Please don't set me on fire. Good girl. I need to not have her be in the front. She's gonna take more damage that way. Beep! Bam! Take that- Oh, what?! Excuse me, no! Are they gonna- Oh my god! That's cheating! Did you see him cheat? Did you see him cheat? <laughs> Fine, I guess I should put more points in badges so that I can have more of these moves that I'm supposed to have. <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't think this counts as having the boo on my head this whole time because I did almost lose it when I was... Make something good happen when you first enter battle. Lucky start. Oh good, the ghosties went away. Okay. Now we're gonna examine. Okay, so here we've got Majora's mask. And that's not a ghost, that's a clutch. I'm trying to figure out what this is. Green, blue, teal, red. Green, blue, teal, red. I don't know what to do with that. Now I've just got this boo on top of my head for no real reason. Green, blue, dark, is that a dark blue or is that a violet? Maybe that's a violet. It just doesn't look purple compared to like the purplish that we are, but we're kind of a magenta purple. That's green, purple, teal, red. But I'm not sure what the significance of that is. Bushroomized, yes. Green, teal, blue, no, green, Purple, teal, red. Ah! Come on, controller, don't let me down. Okay. You can hear that's my controller having some trouble. That's what I was afraid of! stream is cursed. I'm sorry, folks. This is a cursed stream. Boo! Boo! <laughs>
<laughs> uh, I'm sorry, folks. I'm sorry. Okay. But I think we're going to have to lose that save. Because I think I'm going to have to, like... Yeah. No, we did not save after the boo fight. Which is foolish of me. But I wasn't thinking. That's all right. We can redo it next week if we need to. Uh, or else I'll just load it up and go through that fight. And I don't know. I don't know. I'm sorry, folks. I don't know what to do about, like, putting this up on YouTube. Just, like, put, like, this, like, little tiny, like, itty-bitty segment of it. And just, like, well... And then my game crashed, Dolphin crashed, my controller stopped working, and my laptop is giving me difficulties, and I'm suddenly not feeling so well. So we're going to shut down for the night and call this a bonus episode. Sorry, everybody. Uh, I, think that's, I think that's as good as it's going to get. I think that's as good as it's going to get.